Next, we're at the police department in Pensacola, Florida, where Escambia County crime scene technician, Ashley MacArthur, has become the prime suspect in the disappearance of her best friend, 33-year-old private investigator, Taylor Wright. A few months earlier, Taylor asked MacArthur to hide a cashier's check for $34,000 while she went through a divorce. A few weeks later, Taylor asked MacArthur to return the check. According to Taylor's girlfriend, MacArthur reportedly agreed. But then, Taylor disappeared. When police initially interviewed MacArthur, she claimed that Taylor was upset about her divorce and wanted to disappear. Investigators discovered that MacArthur had forged Taylor's signature on the cashier's check, deposited the money, and then quickly spent it on lavish gifts for her boyfriend. A month after her first interview, MacArthur is back in the interrogation room, where detectives Richard Gigliotti and Chad Wilhite have follow-up questions about the check and about some new cell phone evidence that contradicts statements MacArthur made in her first interview. When we started planning all the phone calls that you and Taylor were making that day, um, there were some discrepancies in what you had told us. <laughs> MacArthur originally told police they were out riding horses, but the new cell phone location evidence shows she was at her aunt's farm, over 50 miles away. What were y'all doing out here at this farm? We know y'all were there. We picked up some stuff that Taylor had there that we knew what was that she had stored. Um, some kind of lockbox that she had. MacArthur tells detectives that Taylor's check was actually at the farm in a lockbox and that she'd driven her there to get it. But Gigliotti and Wilhite know that MacArthur had already deposited the money into her own bank account. When you all leave there, where do y'all go? I don't really know. I mean, it was, it, like I said, it wasn't like we were just really kind of riding around. What were you thinking about? It was just kind of a regular day. Regular day? If it's so regular, why would they tell us about this? And we're working a missing person case where your friend for over a year is missing. I honestly didn't think it was very important to this at all. Why was the rest of the day important, though? I mean, really, that whole day was not. I mean, like, us going to my office and anything that. I think something happened and you're trying to forget about it, but personally. You have phone calls all day because here's your phone. Oh, record. sure. 160 pages worth. Oh, I understand. Okay. All right, so you go back out there. When you say you're not sure if you went back out, probably didn't. You actually did go back out there at 2.45. And you're out there for quite a while. So really, in essence, you spent, it seems like, at least a large portion of the majority of your day out here. It really wasn't, though. I mean, we were several hours. You're still there. And you're still there. What MacArthur doesn't know is that at this moment, police are executing a search warrant on the farm. They give MacArthur one final chance to come clean. Where is Taylor at? You need to tell us where she's at. I don't know where she's at. I don't know where she's Tell me what you did to her. I didn't do anything to her. If she's at that farm, we're going to find her because we're executing a search warrant out there right now. That's nothing, but she's not going to be there. Then where is she at? I don't know where she is. Where is her body at? I don't know where she is. She's dead, though. You I know that? I don't believe that. MacArthur asks for a lawyer, and the interrogation is over. A few hours later, Taylor's body was found on the farm, buried in a shallow grave with a bullet hole in the back of the head. MacArthur was arrested and charged with first-degree premeditated murder. She maintained her innocence, but two years later, Ashley MacArthur was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.